Joberhausen, Sander Stooks, here for my next card trick performance. On the table we have these two jokers, and they think that they can find any random card that I bury into the deck, so today I'm going to put them to the test. The card that I've chosen is... the Ten of Spades. Okay, so I will now bury the selected card into the deck, by doing a few cuts, just as so and I'll give the deck a riffle shuffle, so there can be no way of knowing where that ten of spades has gone. Now I will take the jokers, and one by one put them into the deck. And then I will click my fingers to see what they have achieved. So what have the jokers done? Well they have singled out one card. Let's see if it's the right one. Yes it is. They are pretty good. I'll give them another go to make sure it wasn't just a fluke. I'll take the ten and cut it deep into the deck just as before. And then I'll give the deck another shuffle, as after all that is what my hands were designed for, mixing up playing cards. <laughs> now I'll take those jokers and one after another let them loose into the deck. So, let's see if they have done it again. If I spread the deck, we can see the two jokers. But they haven't found a card. Hmm, maybe it was just luck before. Ah, you know what I forgot to do? This. They weren't going to start without a magical click. There we go, see? They have found a card this time, and that card is my chosen card. Right, well these jokers have done quite well so far. They have proven that they can find the randomly selected card from deep within the deck. But now I'm going to give them one final task, to see just how good they are at it. I'm going to take the two jokers and pop them down onto the table. I'll then take the ten of spades and insert it somewhere into the middle of the deck. Man, that looks like a magician's move, but trust me, it's not. Close up the deck, and I'll grab those two jokers and place them somewhere into the deck as well. Now I'll flip the deck over and I'll separate those jokers by moving one of them further down into the deck. There. So, you can see just how far apart they are now. Well if I close up the deck and flip it back over and click my fingers and then spread we find that the two jokers are in the center of the deck and they have rushed together to catch one card and one card only. And that card is of course my chosen card, the Ten of Spades. Those jokers have definitely passed the test. <laughs> this is my performance of Pass the Test, a variation of Give Me the Mayo, a trick I learned from Simon Lavelle.